Yo, what's up, guys? Brian Lee here, Marshall Club, you know. See that? Mm -hmm. Oh, jeez. You got that warrior spirit in you, you're not gonna let the lockdown stop you from going to train, right? Because me and Andy here, we're actually gonna go to the park, you know, and train some kung fu. <laughs> but of course, before training. Train some kung fu. Yep, some kung fu. <laughs> But of course, before training, you gotta make sure everything is prepped. You gotta, you gotta make sure all your nutrition is here too. Oh, jeez. So before training, uh, I like to have this this mega shake here. You know, filled with carbs, proteins, fats, everything you need here. I usually put, um, uh, I put oats in there. I put banana. You know, I got protein powder, peanut butter, blueberries, and everything. Oh, actually, I'll make this for you right now so you can watch for maybe one scoop. What do you think? Huh? No, maybe another scoop. Maybe two scoops. Generally. I know a lot of the martial arts community is against lifting weights, and, and, and let me tell you this: if, if, if you don't, let me tell you this: <laughs> if you can't pick up a heavy weight, you are weak. But let me let me just put this in example, okay? For example, you got two people, okay? Two martial artists, all right? Both of them can do side kicks, okay? One of them can, you know, squat like 315 pounds, all right? And one cannot, never squats with weights, okay? So imagine. How much, how much resistance, how much force output you're, you're, you're putting on your hips and knees to be able to sidekick that hard, okay? Tell me, who's gonna have a stronger sidekick? You tell me. <laughs> That's what I thought. Now, way, way to put it in, in simple terms. Yes, simple terms. Because so, y'all stupid. A lot of martial artists I know are close minded, but you gotta learn to expand. You gotta train different things and you gotta keep an open mind. And, and that's the greatest thing about being a martial artist. You need your caffeine. So, I'll let you guys pick today. Which one should I have? Should I have a, a C4 today? Or should I take a scoop of Flashpoint? Yeah, Flashpoint, like, you know, like down the end? Yeah. Go with the C4. The C4? Yes. Well, I already, you know, I already started this pre workout. I don't mean I can't do both. Ah! Hey guys, so as for me, I'm a little more on the leaner end. As you can tell, I'm not like Brian. He just wants to get huge. I don't have to consume 5,000 calories a day. As a matter of fact, I'm on a caloric deficit, which means I'm trying to cut weight, actually. All right now, I want to get to back where I was in Fist of Fury, which we shot last year. I, I believe at that time, uh, I was exactly 138 pounds. Jeez! Yeah, and I was lean. I want to get back to that and stay there because I remember when I was at that weight, I was light, dude. Oh. I was flying, you know? So I want to get back to that. Um, so one of my goals during this quarantine was to get down back to that weight. And so for me, I'm actually on a caloric deficit, meaning I'm trying to cut weight. A lot of times I actually go to training. I wake up and I go to training on an empty stomach, but sometimes I do, when I feel like I need the extra boost of energy, I'll take like some like banana or something. Oh. Whole freaking shape like Brian. <laughs> Alrighty guys, so um just finishing up my packing over here. Hand sanitizer. You know? 7-Eleven! From 7-Eleven, yes sir. You yeah, got yeah. the same one, right? Yeah, yeah, I have the same one. Yeah. <laughs> We're humans, we're always in survival mode, so you gotta treat it like it's life or death, you know, just like you treat your training sessions. <laughs> <laughs> Last but not least, the Theragun. Yes, sir. Yeah. Quarantine means for us martial artists means quarantine training camp means we're locking ourselves in and we're getting good as hell and If you're training a lot, you best be taking care of your body homie. Yes, sir We are pretty strapped as you can see our living room is now decked out to be a, a training spot I believe in temple up in here, huh? Yes, right. See you got all the weapons here You know, got the down again, you know, going, everything here. I believe that training environment is very important. I, I don't know how people do it when, when they walk into the gym in their pajamas, you know, they have no regimen, they don't know what to do, and they walk in all like, you know. No, everything prepared, you know. We have our gear here, you got your training environment. Just like Andy, you know, um, I got this mask here, you know. Sometimes, you know, those little neighborhood kids walk up, be like, what are you doing? No, you gotta stay strapped, you know, you don't wanna taste one of my sidekicks, homie, you no. Know? I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding. I was, you know, some people get, get butter over that, I believe. We're all strapped and ready to go, right? Alrighty guys, so this is a spot here. This basketball court is where we leveled up a lot of our kung fu growing up. It's not as secluded as we thought today, but you know, still far enough, right? Yeah, keep a distance. Yeah. Our first back was probably thrown over there somewhere. Yep. Uh, so we are going back to our roots and it's nice because uh, when we were younger, and before we had any responsibilities, all we did was train. Train, train, train. Train, train, train. All right, so what we're going to train today is um, primarily kung fu training. But uh, what we're going to do is uh, starting off with the warm-ups, we're going to do some Shaolin-style warm-ups, you know. We're going to do some bear crawls, frog drums, all that good stuff. And then we're going to go straight into sparring, you know, very light sparring. We're not going to fuck each other up or anything, but, you know, like, it, it, like slight enough to get warm, you know. Mm -hmm. 
Then after some intense stretching, and the reason I say intense is because with kung fu, you got you got to be limbering, you know, you, really you know, gotta and you know, be being limbering. me a little on the bigger side is a little more difficult, you know. Yep. Shortly after uh, stretching, um, we're gonna go straight into uh, basics. I believe basics and foundation is very important, especially for a martial artist. Which that means we're gonna be working on the stances, the punches, the kicks. Um, super important. Don't jump straight to the cool moves, guys. Be sure to right. train your basics. I can't stress that enough. A strong structure, I believe, for Kung Fu basics is uh, the Wushu basics. Like, you know, the stretch kicks and the stances, the wheel arms, the hammer fists. However, I also wouldn't be too married to it. I would, yeah. uh, so for our basics training, we're gonna mix in a little bit of Hong Ga, a little bit of Wing Chun, a little bit yeah. of, uh, even Taekwondo kicks, you know? I think, cause I, I wouldn't, I don't wanna be too married to the Wushu structure. I love Wushu. And I think it's important to learn. Yep. It's a really strong foundation if you have it, but I wouldn't be completely married to the art of wushu itself. You always got to keep an open mind. Yep. How do I say it? I believe the world of kung fu is a lot wider beyond just the wushu basics. Yeah. Our focus today is going to be hua jia chuan, which means uh, hua family fist. Um, if you guys have seen yo fist of legend, y'all seen it? Guys have seen Jet Li's fist of legend. That is the the. the that is the style of the Hua clan. And uh, we're gonna train that today. I don't think there's actually uh, a textbook structure or like some Kung Fu manual where you can actually learn that form. So we actually learned it. Uh, we're actually uh, gonna watch, we recorded it straight from the movie and then we're just gonna train that. But that's actually how we learn everything else too. Yeah. So we watch nothing different there. Yeah, nothing different there. Uh, we just watch movies and we watch frame for frame. Uh, and that's how we're gonna train today. So uh, that's gonna be the focus for today. So yeah, dude, without further ado, let's get started. Yeah! That doesn't even hurt. It's easy. How come you guys can't do this? Are you sure? <laughs> Let me see your split. Ah! Hey, yo, guys, remember when you stretch and none of that pit pack patty cake bullshit tip tap stretching? You gotta stretch like you fucking mean it. Oh. Ah. These stretches, it's really easy for the hips to come out, so make sure they're lined up. You guys see how this hip is kind of out of line? You want to line it up a little bit. No, like please. You, know, you want to line it up like. Ah, ah. If you have a partner, it helps to stretch. Yes. <laughs> Alright guys, so uh, sometimes in our basics, then we like to break out into some combinations. And these combinations are not just based on wushu, it's based on... Variations. Yeah, whatever we're inspired by. Right, yeah, whatever we're inspired by. Never stops the artistic expression of the artist. <laughs> Yeah! 
All right, guys, so I'm sure you guys saw in that last clip, I might show it, but uh, um, I aggravated my knee a couple times. The thing is, uh, it's a chronic injury. It's been injured for a while. So after I heard it, we jumped straight into a movie and it was a whole four months with that movie and I worked on- You had to video. push it, huh? Yeah, I had to push it for, for that movie. Straight after that, I thought I was healing okay. So I started training on it a little more, but um, apparently not. So uh, guys, take care of your bodies. Listen to your body if you want longevity in this game. Um, longevity in this game. Yeah, if you want some longevity in this game, don't be like us. Um, we are actually very, very stubborn. Yeah, and I think this is a, a good lesson here. It, it's on camera. I, I think I know what it is for us because we're artists. We find sanity in uh, our art. We'll finish yeah. training. Yeah, we gotta finish. Training. All right, let's finish training. Wait, wait, wait. How about how are you gonna do it? I'll do as much as I can because in the end, I ain't no. So, oh, if you ever hurt yourselves. Don't, do not, I hate it when people do this. When people hurt themselves and they use that as an excuse to lay around no, and, no, no, and no. lounge around until they recover. Like bro, you're get, you're, there are other things to train. Looking at the scene, the Hua uh, Jiachuan frame for frame from the movie. And this is how Brian and I grew up learning martial arts to begin. We watch martial arts movies and we, we study it frame for frame. The angle of the kick the angle that it goes into the shot, the angle of the shot. And so, I, I believe martial arts and filmmaking is kind of one art in itself. Someone forgot to charge the batteries and a uh, camera died. Sorry. So. So. <laughs> so what, how's it go again? Here? Uh, it's a punch over here. There it is, yeah. Yeah. Damn, that's hard. Alright. Let's go. Let's go. Damn it. Yeah. Uh huh. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're good. Okay. All right, guys. Um, hope you guys enjoyed that training. Hope you guys learned a lot as well. Um, we're trying our best to uh, keep these videos going during the lockdown. It's a little difficult, but we're we're doing everything yeah, we can. Because we, we actually got a lot of other things we're working on. Yes. At the same time, like the videos, we we want to keep it going for you guys. We have main projects we're working on. Right. A lot of them too. A lot of main projects. So and beyond that, we're we're keeping up with our training. Stay on the top of it, you know. Yeah. Stay safe. Stay at home. Don't go out. Spreading the virus. Getting the virus. Spreading the virus to everyone. Uh, be responsible. Take every training session like it's your last one, because like as if you're going to war. Because we are humans and we are in survival mode. Take care of yourselves, take care of your bodies, li and listen to your bodies. If you want some longevity in this game, you need to take care of yourself. But, of course, you gotta be a warrior. You, you, you still gotta go in. It doesn't give you an excuse to lounge around and be like, oh, I'm injured. No, it don't work that way. Yeah, take this quarantine time as a time to get ahead while the rest of the world is on pause. That's what we're doing. We're staying productive. Very productive. Yeah, too productive. Oh, God. Uh, basics are important. Training. Repetition is the mother of all skill. At the same time, you want to be open as martial artists, you want to stay open as possible, be open-minded, absorb, and express what is truly you. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Martial Club, out! <laughs>